This is Mamata Samaras. Welcome to another solution tutorial of soil dust. Today we are going to solve this 3D problem. In this 3D problem, this is the isometric view, this is the top view, this is the front view, and this is the right side view. First, I will start drawing, drawing from the top view. In the top view, I will draw step by step every portion. First, I will draw this portion, then this second portion, uh, like a building. So first I will draw this outer circle. This outer circle has a radius of 90 and its extrude boss is 15. So I will draw a radius of 90 circle and then draw a extrude boss of 15. So now select the top plane. Now select sketch. Now select circle and place the circle to the origin. Now draw a circle of 90 radius. Now isometric it, go to features and then extrude boss. Extrude boss is to 15 unit. After that, here we can see that uh, I have a this portion and this portion has a outer radius of 90 and a inner radius of 75. So I will draw this half circle offset portion of 90 radius and 75 radius. Then I will extrude boss it to 40 unit. So I select this plane surface and then sketch. Now normal to it. For outer 90 radius, I will select this line and combat entities. And for inner 75 radius, I will draw a circle of 75 radius circle. As here you can see, this has a semicircle portion of offset. So I will select a center line. I will select a line and draw a center line. After that, I will select trim entities and trim all the necessary part. Now press OK. Then isometric it, go to features and extrude boss. Extrude boss it to 40 unit. Okay. Here you can see we have another shape. The next shape is almost like this one so here we can see it in this left portion and uh, there is a radius of 90 and in the right portion there is a radius of 110 so as we can see uh, we have already have this shape so i'll draw this shape from the convert entries and then i will draw a circle of 110 radius then I will close this shape. After that, I will extrude boss this to 15 unit. Okay. Now select this surface. Now press sketch. Now normal to it. So I select this surface. Now convert into this. As I don't need this line, so I will go to trim option and trim this line. Now press OK. After that, I will draw the 110, 110 radius circle. So draw a 110 radius circle. Okay, now select line and place the line here and draw a horizontal line. And also draw at the bottom, select line and place the line to the point and draw a horizontal line. Okay, now select trim entries and trim all the unnecessary part. Now press OK. After that, uh, I will extrude boss this to 15 unit. So go to features and extrude boss. Extrude boss it to 15 unit. Okay. Then I have these four pillars. As we can see, we have four pillars, and here also another, and in the back side also one. So those pillars are in 20, has 28. So if I see this outer circle. You can say this outer circle has a radius of 60. You can see this this outer circle has a radius of 60. And the inner circle, this inner circle has a radius of 40. And these pillars are drawn from this outer circle and inner circle and a unit distance of 20. So I'll draw a inner circle. So I'll first draw the inner circle of 40 radius. Then draw the outer circle of 60 radius after that 
I will draw two horizontal and one horizontal line and one vertical line. Then I will, then I will offset this 20 unit. This 20 unit offset from this side and this 20 unit offset from the vertical side. Then I will trim all the unnecessary part. After that, I will then extrude both those pillar to 40 minus 10 uh, 30 unit. So let's start. Select the face now. Sketch now normal to it and first draw the inner circle. Inner circle is 40 radius and draw the outer circle. The outer circle is 60 radius. After that, I'll select the line and I'll select center line. I'll select the center line then drawing a horizontal line and again drawing a vertical center line okay as i have a 20 radius at 20 unit so i will offset it to 20 unit so in the both side it will be 10 unit in this side and 10 unit in the other side so i'll say this line also now press ok now I'll trim all the unnecessary part. So trim that part I don't need. Okay. Trimming all the part. After that we can see we don't need, need this shape. So closely trim this extra line. So in do this for the other side also. Trim it. And also this side make sure to trim this extra line portion okay as you can see we have all the close shape so I will isometric it then go to features and then extrude boss and I will extrude boss it to Okay, so I have selected all the region now let's to post it to 40 minus 10 30 unit okay after that we can see uh, we have a we have a inner circle we have an inner circle of 30 radius and the outer circle of 60 radius so I'll draw an inner circle of 30 radius and outer circle of 60 radius. Then I have a constructed geometry circle um, in the middle of that two circle, uh, which is 50 radius. And in that constructed geometry circle, I have four circle uh, of radius of five, which are at 45 angle from each other. From this line, uh, we can say they are each other from 90 degree angle. So select this face now we sketch now normal to it and now select circle and draw a inner circle of 30 radius then select again and circle and draw a outer circle of 60 radius after that we need to draw four uh, smaller circles so i need a constructed geometry circle so i will draw that constant geometry circle of 50 radius drawing a 50 radius circle then I will right click my mouse then I will select construction geometry or, or otherwise you can do manually as you want so here we can see we have every inner circle as 45 degree angle so I am drawing a 45 degree line you can use this one dimension or other things to draw a 45 degree indication so after that I will select the circle and draw a circle of 5 radius okay and this I have I will use circular sketch pattern because I have other three circles to draw. So I have selected circular sketch pattern and all the circles are at 90 degree angle from each other. Now press OK. After that, isometric it and go to features and then extrude boss. And this side I can see the extrude boss it 10 unit. So I will extrude boss it to 10 unit. Okay. After that, uh, I will draw another circle of this 
portion. Now I'll draw this portion. In this portion, I have the inner radius of. I have an inner radius of 30 unit and the outer radius of 40 unit. So I'll draw a 30 unit and 40 unit circle. Then I'll it to 50, 15 unit. So I'll select this face. Now sketch. Now normal to it. Now draw the outer radius. Outer radius is 40 unit. And the inner radius is 30 unit. Now I'll isometric it. Now go to features and then extrude boss. And extrude boss it to 15 unit. Now press OK. Now the final thing. At the final, I have this cylindrical shape. And this cylindrical shape uh, has a radius of, uh, you can say this cylindrical shape is this one. And it has a radius of 20 unit. So this 20 unit radius cylindrical shape has a stood boss of 135 unit. So I'll select the top plane, then draw this. 20 unit radius circle and then it's to it to 135 unit so select top plane now select sketch now normal to it now select circle and draw a circle of 20 radius after that i will isometric it now go to features and then it's to boss i will extrude boss it to 135 unit okay as we can see we have drawn our 3d sketch thank you for watching Till the end. Thanks for watching and keep learning. Be different.